Wars Minions with his 23 leg 8 3 mile 2 not 130 handicap vintage Sharab Craig Beck with Clay of Sport Scopic River Martin Leland God Good Queen David Orley Watchdale Political Racing Brooklyn Jean Alex Cherry Troy Jonathan Alex Cherry and Philly Eagle Michael Pitcher Seminars for the qualify. So Alex Cherry has two shots at it. I'll lead you along with Brooklyn Jean who won a hunter chase, I think last him out. Leads on the inside of Chuck Cord Jonathan. BID is Philly Beagle on the inner, then Cladoscopic River. Well, that's been in quite a good form of date. And then Good Queen and Vintage Cherub. They jumped down, I think Cladis got but that was probably third, I think, in the NC last week. I think my horse was full for that. My main horse in it fell out of the way for his parents. I was running the race, I thought, you bastard, as he fell out of the way for his I really did fancy him. He's got, he's got a stand up, he's going to win a big race, that Tower Hamlets. I'm just letting you know. He's going to win a big race somewhere. He's so well handicapped. He's my best chaser, and he's falling all the time. Brooklyn Jean leads. I jump the next. Cord Jack Jonathan in second. Cladoscopic River in third. Watch Tower. And the Philly Eagle on the inner. And then Midget Shoab and Good Queen. Watch Tower's in our, I think it's third season. He's really been a disappointment. But for some reason he runs well in the trials. Come to the league. He runs a constant mid race winner, a finisher all the time. He never ever gets his head in front. Jump the next. And he's rated no 110 now. And he's not falling down the weight long to get into anti chases so he's stuck. There. Uh, Brooklyn Jean. I need him to stand up. That's what I need. Watch out to stand up yeah. If he don't get in the first fall I'd be happy with him stand up. And then pass the handicap, I can relieve him of a couple of pounds. Oh, I'm, I'm suggesting you do that, Alex, of course. I'll just say it. Brooklyn Jean, and jump down, and then comes the Kaleidoscopic River. Martin Leiden, who thinks his horse has been uh, clutter packed. Uh, well. We shall see, Martin, see how many. If you actually get a winner of Ascot this week, and if you do, I'll be coming back and say, I apologise to you, Mr. Gladbach. You knew better, you knew better than me about the handicapping. Just saying, Martin. Brooklyn Jean, a couple of them's clear. Much over in second. Called Jonathan in third. Of course, I don't know the flat race in that Ascot this week. Um, I'm hoping to give up a winner somewhere. One of those long distance chases. Either a Gold Cup or a Quidditch Standard will do me. And I think I'm heading towards Queen Alexander if I'm going to win any race this week. I'd ask it. Uh, so certainly I'm down here at the Moles, Millions Leg 8. Final at the end of the season. Plenty of other legs to get qualified. But only seven ones in this. So I think it's because it's a 0 30, so it's kept it. To the low end of trainers, I think David Lewis the biggest trainer in there today. Uh, Martin Leiden. I said he was looking at both but I think he loved me in the championship, so I'm down at eight or nine at the moment. And I can't seem to get any winners because um, my horse is either too high for under chases and always out the handicap in the big races. I'll jump the next. Um, Brooklyn Jean leads by 11, Cord Jonathan, then Good Queen, Vintage Shirab, Watchtower, falls into that category of being in big races, out of the handicap, and too high for under chases. Billy Eagle at the back, who is qualified for under chases, as is Cord Jonathan, yeah. But I'm sure the 
trainers are both want these two qualified for the big finale at the end of the season. One trainer went way off bottom weights. Booked in jeans, the cap went clear, the head's inside the seven now. From Sable Companion called Jonathan in second. Then comes Good Queen in third and the cap to Watchtower. Billy Eagle, Kaleidoscopic River and British are both hoping they're supposed to qualify in this race today off these weights because they'd be competitive on them if they can get qualified here today Brooklyn Jean is stretching now 6 inches clear and it's gone for over, jumped that one and Clare Scott River right out of the way, he's been in good form but he's not running too well today as Brooklyn Jean is trying to go in and running that one and stand right out the ones behind and Brooklyn Jean is about four to five minutes clear of Cole Jonathan uh, Good Queen is on the case now he's fairly starting to pick up a gap then to Philly Heek, a Watchtower Midget Sharp and Clyde Scott but we were those three really are struggling now towards the rear of the field they head on towards the final fence and Black's Cherry as the leader in Brooklyn Jean if Good Queen might be the danger in second, then can call Jonathan in third and those three will definitely qualify at the moment. They're well clear of Philly Eagles being pressed off by the improving Richard Sharab. They jumped the last and on the line and Brooklyn Jean still holding on inside the final fill. He's two to be in square four maybe of good question in second. Call Jonathan back in third. That's the one, two, three, up towards the line they go. And Brooklyn Jean Turned it on for him and went clear and as held on to the line to win from Cold, Good Queen, Cold Jonathan and Juriti Shoab will be the other one off the top weight who will make it into the next, uh, into the final for definite. And uh, I the eagle back in fifth watchtower and for some reason it wasn't kaleidoscopic with his day today. So wait for the full result. And there we are, Brooklyn Jean wins a lemon to four for Ice Cherry.